What would a world without evil, pain, and suffering be like? Uh, it would be like heaven. But I have to offer this qualifier. Heaven is going to be a completely different kind of place because there has been a world of evil, pain, and suffering than it would have been if there were none of those things. Now, this is hard to grasp for, grasp for some people, and, I, and, I, and for some it's not even that compelling. But let me just offer the thought. There are certain moral goods that can be produced in a world that is fallen that has sin and pain and suffering uh, that could not be produced in a world that never had those kinds of things. Is it a virtue to persevere under evil and unjust punishment? Sure it is, but that kind of thing couldn't happen in a non-fallen world. There are moral goods like patience and perseverance and, 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 uh, and other virtues like that, that that could only be produced in a fallen world. And in fact, I think this is a big part of the, of the whole issue of pain and suffering. God is using these kinds of things. And again, I don't have the whole picture, but it's a piece of the puzzle. God is using these kinds of things in the lives of people to make them much better individuals than they could ever be, to build virtues in their lives that could not have been built in other ways. Now, this doesn't always happen with everybody that goes through pain and suffering, partly because they don't respond properly to it. Uh, people could get bitter and angry and depressed and, and shake their fist against God. I mean, that would be a way of responding. And what? guess what? They never gain anything good from that. But you don't have to be a religious person to realize that going through some of the most difficult times in your lives has turned out to bear the greatest fruit in your life of virtue somewhere down the line. That's what I'm talking about.